We work closely, our outreach team, with the City of Manchester, Manchester Fire, and the Health Department, and other outreach teams in the city to go out and do what we call fatality prevention. So that started 24 hours ago. With temperatures in the single digits Friday night, New Horizons in Manchester is trying to bring people inside and is prepared for a full house. Everybody is checking in early because it's really cold out there, so I think that we're going to probably likely hit capacity this evening. Um, our numbers are starting to already peak. Once the shelter fills their 108 beds, those in need are referred to warming stations where staff are ready for large numbers. They work really hard to make sure that we provide the best services that we can. Um, and then our warming station does a great job with the volunteers to be prepared for that as well. So we're ready. We always are ready for the folks that need the services and the shelter. If outside for long periods of time, doctors say covering up your skin as much as possible is important. It can ultimately freeze. Um, the first thing you get is that burning sensation, chill blains, where your, your face will get red and really start to sting. And if you experience those frost Despite symptoms, use warm water or moderate heat to warm up. What you don't want to do is rub vigorously. If you're rubbing vigorously and you've actually got injury, frostbite, that can cause damage to the tissue and you won't even know it because you won't feel it. And New Horizons does go out with city agencies to try to convince those who want to stay outside to go ahead and come inside and at the very least just let them know what their options are. In Manchester, Jessica Moran, WMUR News 9.